Hello and welcome to Roma Loves Yoga. Merry Christmas-ish. We're getting into December. I've put my decorations up but just to give me a bit more joy. I put them up quite early this year because I just wanted to um, experience all that wonder that Christmas can bring a little bit early this year given that it's been a bit crazy. So um, today I am sitting on my folded blanket and I've got a scarf. You can use a strap um, or anything that just means that you can extend out into your shoulders and we're going to use that to do a little bit of strength work in the legs. So let's begin. Bring your feet so that they're flexed underneath your knees. Just roll those shoulders back and down and we're going to bring our hands to heart centre. Just begin to soften the gaze or just looking at a point on the floor in front of you. Taking a deep breath in and releasing a breath out. Deep breath in and releasing a breath out. One more breathing in and releasing a breath out. Just flutter those eyes open and let's just with the breath, take our hands out and then bring them back to heart center. So let's breathe out, taking the arms away from us, pushing into the heels of the hands. And then as we inhale, bringing them back to heart center. Exhale, taking the hands away, pushing into the heels of the hands and inhale, bringing them back. Just move with your breath. Just notice that nice stretch you get in the wrist as you take those arms away from you. Try to relax down through the shoulders so they're coming down away from the ears. Shoulder blades are nice and relaxed. Last one, breathing out and breathing in. Now let's just drop those hands to the side of the body and let's take some wrist rolls. Either way, whatever feels good for you, just taking the arms up towards the sky and then just reverse the motion as you bring them back down. Just start to roll the wrists, taking the arms up as you go and then start to bring them back down again once you get to the top really good for those of you who are at the computer using our wrists on our devices hunching over those laptops just get a nice release just bring the hands to interlacing pushing the heels of the hands away from you floating them up towards the ceiling relaxing through those shoulders if there's any pinching Bring those hands forward slightly. That will allow you to relax down through those shoulders easier. You don't want to be pinching the shoulders up towards the ears. Now as we exhale, we're just going to allow those hands to fall down in front of the face as we round through the shoulders slightly. Inhale, taking them back up towards the ceiling. Exhale, bringing them all the way back down. Inhale, taking them up just all the while as you're moving with your breath, just trying to relax through those shoulders here. So Christmas shopping is all online this year, so you might be spending a little bit more time on our devices, laptops, iPads, phones. So I'm just doing a little bit of work through the shoulders here. Last breath out, and then breathing in. And then we're going to just take the arms to the left side to begin with and then just take the head towards the left shoulder. Just taking a nice smell of that armpit and then just drop the chin towards the chest, take it to the other side and then bring it all the way back and then bring the whole body to centre taking the whole body now to the right hand side, isolating the top from the bottom, 
taking the head towards the right shoulder now. Smelling this armpit, dropping the chin, taking it to the other side, rocking it back to the other side now, and then bringing the body towards the center. Bring the hands back down, just give them a little shake out, they've been up for a little while now. And just relax. Let's take some shoulder rolls here, so as we inhale we're going to bring the shoulders forwards and up. Exhale, take them down and back. Inhale, bringing them forwards and up. Exhale, down and back. Inhale, forwards and up. Exhale, down and back. One more, and come to relax. Now from here we're just gonna take whichever leg is on top for you and your cross leg, and just bring the other one on top now. Still flexing those feet underneath the knees just for a bit of protection. And don't worry if this feels a little bit weird, it may do, as it's not our natural seated position. Bring the hands back to heart center and let's take those three deep breaths. Breathing in, and deep sigh out. Breathing in, deep sigh out. Breath in, deep sigh out. Then from here, let's take those breaths, breathing out, taking the arms away. Inhale, bringing them back. Exhale, pushing into the heels of the hands, shoulders are relaxed, inhale, bring them back. Exhale, pushing away, inhale, bring them back. One last time, exhale, inhale, bring them back. From here, let's just start to um, interlace the fingers and we're just going to push the heels of the hands away from us, taking the arms up towards the ceiling relaxing through those shoulders now. Now we're just going to take a stretch towards the right here. Just making sure that your head is still in the middle of the hands. Just feeling that stretch through the left hand side of the body. Imagine your body was in between two glass panes. Make sure you're still breathing here. Coming back up to center and then going the other way. Taking a breath in and exhale. Breathing in, into that side body. Right buttock is rooted to the floor and coming back up to center. Let's take the whole of the top body towards the right hand side now. Taking the chin towards the right hand side and then just gently dropping it, taking it all the way to the left and all the way back to the right. Bring the body to the centre and then taking it the other way. Taking a look towards the left side now, dropping the chin down towards the chest, bringing it to the other side and then taking it the other way. Bringing the whole of the top body back to center, dropping those arms, giving them a little shake out. Bring the hands onto the knees and let's just roll those shoulders back and down, lift the chest up towards the ceiling. Exhale, round through the spine, allow the shoulders to drop, bringing the chin towards the chest. Inhale, taking those shoulders back and down, heart lifts up towards the ceiling. Exhale, rounding the spine, tucking the chin. Find your flow now. Move with your breath, inhaling as you come up, exhaling as you round and tuck the chin. Just allow that lovely flexion through the spine, feeling each one of those vertebrae get a nice stretching movement through as you breathe in and out. And just coming back to your neutral position now. Let's just take a couple of side bends here. So bringing the left hand onto the floor, floating the right hand up towards the ceiling. On the inhale, as you exhale, leaning towards the left hand side. Coming back up, inhale, taking the other hand up towards the ceiling, and then moving to the right hand side. And then going the other way. 
exhale leaning this time allow the hand to fall in front of the face and then bring you all the way up to center let's do that again inhale left hand comes up right leaning to the right hand side bringing us all the way up taking the right hand up leaning to the left and coming all the way up left hand comes up leaning to the right allow the hand to fall in front of the face bringing you back up to center fabulous now let's come on to our hands and knees we're just going to come into our box position feel free to take your blanket and place it underneath the knees for a little bit of protection knees are underneath the hips Hands are going to be actually a little bit wider than the shoulders. Your little pinkies are going to be in touch with the edge of the mat. From here, we're just going to move through some cat cows. We inhale, take the chin and see up. Exhale, round the spine, tucking the chin here. Inhale, chin and see come up. Exhale, tuck the chin round through the spine. Inhale, chin and see come up. Exhale, tucking the chin belly button comes up towards the ceiling and then come back to your neutral position here take those knees a little bit wider bring the toes to touch and then bring the buttocks all the way down towards the heels bringing the head down towards the floor you can grab a pillow here if you want to and just bring the forehead to come back back down to the pillow Extending the arms as much as you want to, making sure you can still relax through the shoulders. Breathing into the hips here, into the groin. Just relaxing, tuning inwards for a moment. Just allow your breath to steady. One more breath here. Just slide the hands back slightly. Bring yourself up. And then we're just gonna come and sit on our knees. Now, if this isn't available to you, feel free to put pillows in between. Your, the backs of your legs so that you can sit here comfortably and we're just going to grab our strap or scarf or whatever it is that you have. Now from here we're just going to take the strap in the right hand and allow it to fall down the back taking that right elbow up towards the ceiling taking the left hand out in front of you and then just bringing it to meet the, the other end of the strap here. Now the see here is to flare through the ribs so we're just going to spin everything so that each vertebrae is stacked beautifully on top of the other and then we're just going to bring the chest parallel to the floor so we're not looking up or looking down and then you can just start to bring the hands closer to one another if that feels okay just getting that stretch through the right shoulder and through the left shoulder as well so just breathing here, focusing on your posture, just trying to make that as nice as possible. Taking one last breath on this side and then just releasing the bottom hand first and then releasing the top hand. Taking the other, the strap in the left hand now allowing that to fall down the back, bringing that elbow all the way up towards the ceiling, taking the right hand in front of you, and then just finding the strap with the other hand. Again here, then just focusing on the ribs, just allow them to soften. So the spine is nice and long, chin is parallel to the floor. Finding the other side of the strap and maybe walking the hands a little bit closer. Just getting that nice, stretch all the way through the shoulders here focusing on that posture once more just try not to flare taking a nice breath in and releasing a breath out 
releasing that bottom hand first and then just taking the top hand and then we're going to come and sit on the bottom and you can just take the feet into the mat here you might want to move your blanket about as wide as the mat hands are coming next to your um, bottom and we're just going to keep the spine nice and long and just allow the knees to fall from one side to the other keeping the buttocks rooted into the floor here so we're just getting some internal and external rotation through our hips you don't have to go really fast just go at your own pace and try not to like just move the buttocks away from the floor otherwise you're not getting the benefit of the pose of the movement sorry and then from here we're going to bring the left foot in towards the body and then with the strap we're going to just take this round the right ball of the foot and then just slide your hands down the strap and then take the left hand and just place it behind you and then from here we're just going to take that right foot up you can allow a little bend in the knee here and we're just going to bring that toe towards the midline of the body. So we're tilting our foot towards the midline. And then from here, we're just gonna take the leg down to almost touching the floor and then bring it back up. So we're just work, working on some strength through the inside of that leg. You don't often work on strengthening these muscles. So this can feel quite challenging so just make sure you're still breathing and that you're going with your own pace and feel free to bring the foot all the way down to the floor and have a little break and then start again last one going up and then just bringing the foot all the way down releasing the strap bringing the right foot in now towards the body, taking the left one out, bringing your strap or your scarf, taking it around the ball of the foot, sliding the hands all the way down, taking the strap in the left hand, bringing the right hand next to you behind the right buttock, and then just lifting the leg up, dropping that toe now towards the middle of the body. Again, maybe a gentle bend in that left knee, and then just dropping the leg down towards the floor, and then bringing it back up. Try to keep the torso nice and long so we're not caving through the shoulders or the lower back. Got a nice relaxed shoulders down away from the ears and we're just moving that leg gently up and down. I can feel it now. This side for me is not as strong as the other side. I can feel it in my groin. So just a few more breaths here. The arms are just helping out, they're not doing the movement for you so you can feel that the strength work is actually making its way to the leg. Just placing the foot down now, removing our strap. Just come to your cross-legged position and we're going to take some really big circles here. So hands are just on the knees. And we're just coming forwards and backwards, isolating the top part of the body from the bottom. Just going one side to begin with and then just begin to reverse the motion. So really exaggerate this movement so you can feel that in the groin, the hips and the lower spine. Stillness. I hope you enjoyed strengthening the legs and getting into the shoulders. Thank you for practicing with Roman Yoga. Bye.